guys and welcome to today's show. Today we got something very very special indeed. A good friend of mine uh, and a patron member and those of you unfamiliar with the patron society we have the the large Facebook group but we also have a smaller Facebook group of just a hundred members and that's called the patron society and those members uh, pledge support directly uh, to the channel and help me putting these videos together and in return they get special privileges, special deals, uh, also they get to vote and nominate watches that I review and they, they get a more kind of direct uh, say in how I run my channel and it's very, very important for me because it enables me to get access to more watches and uh, it also uh, gives me a bit of financial backing uh, for the channel which at the moment is really, really crucial taking it to the next level but Kyle my good friend Kyle and I hope you don't mind me giving you a shout out he actually started his own watch company uh, there's a kickstart campaign for it and I'll leave all the details in the description and this is the watch now this is the Stratton Chrono uh, chronograph and it's a heavily automotive inspired watch a very very retro very vintage feeling but yet bang up to date very fun lively, unlike anything I reviewed. It reminds me of those vintage uh, Hoya chronographs like the Monza uh, from I think back in the 70s. Also reminds me of the uh, the Chopard, I think it's the Mille, Mille Maglia or, or I, I, I can't remember if I'm pronouncing that. <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it's it's got its own character and guys I've got to be honest I was a little bit dubious about reviewing a watch uh, from a patrons member because what happens if I don't like the watch you know I'm gonna be honest guys my integrity is always number one and just because uh, they're a patron member and they pledge their support to the channel uh, it doesn't mean that they're gonna get special treatment they're just gonna get they're gonna get the same objective opinion uh, that I would give to any watch but to my absolute <laughs> relief it's a really great watch certainly a wild card for your collection and to have a member a patron and uh, you know dare I say a friend of the channel now uh, releasing their own watches I just think it's absolutely fantastic and I really want to put my support behind it because at the end of the day I think it's very well priced you're getting a good watch in fact actually I should stop talking and we should change perspectives now now before I we get into this watch I should do a wristwatch check look at that absolutely gorgeous a little Tissot there 1930s style telemeter absolutely gorgeous 37 millimeter size I got it on the vintage collar ebb just to give it that really that vintage appeal manual wind I just reviewed this very recently I bought it out of curiosity just a impulse buy but actually it's become I've I got to be honest guys, I've fallen in love with it. I, I absolutely adore it. Um, so, yeah, I've reviewed it, have a look. It's, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it. I, I do think though if I, if I sell it, I'm never going to find one again. Uh, you know, there's a, it's a very limited edition and it's so unique. The movement, you know, you're not going to find this movement, this Swiss movement, for under a thousand dollars ever again, I don't think so. It's got a lot of character and I think I should just I should just keep it. Wristwatch check done. Let's switch perspectives now and have a closer look at the Stratton Curve Chronograph. Today we have two very special watches indeed. In fact, these are two prototypes. Uh, these are not the final versions, but this is the Stratton Curve Chronograph. And it comes in a variety of flavors. I'll include a little image uh, somewhere in the screen now so you can see all the different fantastic color coordinations that uh, Stratton have put together. What I have here before you are the two main types. Of course we have the automatic version which is this particular one here and then of course the quartz version. So let's quickly get the dimensions out the way and guys as you know as I always say <laughs> I have sellotape on my calipers so uh, I especially don't want to ruin this, um, uh, these quite rare prototypes. So diameter about 39 millimeters. We have a lug to lug of 47 and a thickness of 15. The lug width is 
90 millimeters so it takes a 20 millimeter strap so a really nice size i actually find it very very comfortable and i believe they come in two different sizes uh, i'm not sure if this is the larger or the smaller one but regardless it does wear very very well for me um, and I have got very small wrists as you guys know, but we'll do a wrist shot in just a moment Now the the first thing I've noticed picking these up is the automatic is obviously going to be quite a bit heavier It also comes on this beautiful mesh bracelet, which I really think complements this lovely curved style case It's just unbelievable uh, It's also signed. We've got a fold over clasp. So it's not just you know, not only does it clip into place like such but it also has a fold over class. These mesh bracelets, I really prefer these ones uh, because you could just, with a with a screwdriver, just pop this up and you can slide this along and you can get a really comfortable fit. I absolutely love this style of uh, Milanese mesh bracelet and I think it suits its retro appeal very, very well. So the automatic here, uh, this is the green dial and green in the bezel version. First thing you'll notice is this stunning, stunning case really curvaceous with these beautiful huge beveled edges are high polish and then contrasted beautifully with this matte finish we have a crown here at the 10 o'clock that that works the the inner bezel uh, now there are going to be some changes to the final version but we'll get to that last then you've got the screw down crown at the three o'clock and then the two pushes to activate the chronograph if we get in nice and close the actual main dial is a very very dark rich green almost with a kind of slightly dark towards the edges really nice and rich we have a tetrametric scale running around the inside in that kind of contrasting cream uh, kind of cream yellow color beautiful um, orange hand very very 70s-esque colors to, to kind of match the color scheme is really got spot on personally I love the quartz but we'll get into that in just a moment uh, and as I said you, you can get it in a variety of colors orange goes so well with the green um, Stratton have really done an excellent job of, of picking colors there's some lovely detail here this is a lovely bi-compact setup the seconds of the main uh, watch being counted on the right and then a 30 minute counter subdial for the chronograph and if we stop it and reset it we have signed at the bottom automatic chronograph minutes and seconds track running around at the dial there and then this sloped in a bezel which is really really nice you can keep track of a, a second time zone there so perfect we've got applied uh, Markers. Well, you don't see the dome of the um, sapphire glass because it's embedded into the case, but it has this wonderful kind of really cool um, kind of look to it, and, and it kind of distorts from an angle, but thick, and, and there's just something very satisfying about looking into it. Indeed, I absolutely adore the the case. It's uh, very cool, and the way the um, the lugs kind of um, there is a s very subtle curve to it and then of course on the back we have a screw down case back there's two versions of the case back you'll see this kind of spoked obviously both of them are heavily heavily um, inspired by uh, the spoked car wheel here absolutely stunning I, I love really love this one so the automatic one in here we have the NE88 Seiko movement an automatic movement uh, you can hand wind it, it's hackable, has a 45 hour power reserve, similar to a kind of rival, a Japanese rival basically to the Valtteri 7750 uh, with the chronograph function obviously. Personally I really like the NE88, I think it's a great movement, very reliable, um, it makes sense, it's a really excellent choice for this kind of watch, operates at 28 1800 vibrations per hour my only downside obviously is with the automatic and the addition of the Milanese bracelet is quite a bit heavier this is 126 grams whereas the quartz version which we're going to right now it is just under 100 grams and this is far more lighter uh, and actually I, I, I really like the quartz I never thought I'd 
prefer the quartz version. I'm not a big fan of the green. I'm just, I just don't do green. Um, some of you guys might absolutely adore it. Now, you'll notice the quartz one has a date at the six o'clock and has a different setup with the subdials. You get some extra features. Not only uh, is the color scheme, uh, this is my favorite color scheme, I've got to say. I just love the black and the oranges going on. Very, very 70s-esque again that retro, you know, it, it just reminds you of a, a car dials and, and the, the automotive theme just screams at you. And again, they've, they've really uh, thought about the strap perfectly. This uh, racing strap just complements the whole package. And of course, I don't usually talk about packaging, but it does come in this beautiful Stratton leather case. You get additional little um, NATOs there to, with, with matching kind of 70s inspired, obviously the green for the green. And this one for that one, uh, just beautifully done. I just love the detail. Again, the colors, everything has been so well thought out. Uh, it's a really nice little gift package. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Absolute pure class. And not only that, they even match gloves. You, you can buy certain gloves. Uh, in fact, when I do the wrist shot, <laughs> I'll have to put the gloves on. Let's have a look at the quartz version. And this actually is my favorite. And in here, we have the Seiko VK64 movement, which again, a really solid choice because if we start the chronograph, you'll see there is, a, it mimics the sweep of a mechanical piece. It's not very, very smooth, but it, it is sweeping. And that's because there's a mechanical module attached to the quartz movement uh, to give it that uh, sweep to kind of mimic that uh, automatic, uh, more organic sweep. You get the addition of a 24 hour counter on the right subdial instead of where sweeping seconds would be. 60 minute counter this time uh, on the left there. And we get a date, which I think is fantastic. Again, we have the same setup with um, an inner rotating bezel, which you can actually keep track of a second time zone. And it's just gorgeous. I love everything about this watch they've, they've really got everything matches and works in such harmony with everything the beautiful applied logo so there's a screw down crown uh, again but there are some differences to these prototypes that you will see in the final version and i'll just i'll just reset that and if we press the reset you see it sets back very much like a valjou you know this is this is what you the kind of behavior you'd expect in an automatic movement but you, it's in a quartz, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I, such a good idea putting this um, particular Seiko movement. The VK64 is great, great choice. And again, keeps the cost down. So what are the, what are you going to see in the final version that, that you don't see here? Well, they are actually going to have the S Stratton logo engraved on the crown here. Uh, so that is one difference. These are the prototypes. So they are not entirely finished. Also the crown to access the inner rotating bezel, that's gonna be screwed down in the final version, which I think is a really cool thing because if you are if you have set it to a second time zone uh, and you accidentally you know, brush past this, it can muck up your timekeeping. So I think with the screw down crown here, it really makes sense. And I just, I, I love the idea of having it, you know, it being able to track a second time zone. What else? Well, they are going to improve the loom. The loom is really not that bad. Uh, it's, it's C3 Luminova, which you'd kind of expect. In fact, actually, let's switch now to a loom shop. And obviously the loom uh, is slightly different on the quartz because of the date. It is actually quite good, even though they are going to improve it. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's a loom shop. Okay, back to the studio. So those are the changes that we will see uh, with the final versions. I'm very privileged to have the prototypes. I, I feel quite lucky. And, and, and this is something that I really like about this brand and what they're doing is anyone can go out and buy a Tag Heuer uh, Monza, which I think is probably the first watch you're going to um, think of when you look at this. But in a way, this is far more original because there's only going to be a limited amount of these made. The price is a lot more competitive. We're looking at around about 300 for the quartz and about 700 for the automatic. While I like the automatic, my pick of the bunch is definitely the quartz. I'm quite surprised at saying that because usually, you know, I prefer an automatic watch. But 
it's lighter I love the uh, second time zone idea I love the fact that it's quartz but yet if we engage the chronograph it's it does have some kind of sweep so there there is that romance that's still attached to it yeah it's not a quartz but to be honest I think the quartz kind of makes sense especially if you're riding a bike for example a motorbike I think the quartz actually would make more sense trying to think of negatives well my negatives are that that it is very thick it's a thick tall watch in fact let's do a shot I'm gonna take my glove off and put the the driving glove on I think it's only right I do the wrist shot with the driving glove okay guys so here we are and I feel like I should uh, be driving a getaway car and, and uh, for a heist or something <laughs> but it is really really cool now you'll see what I mean it is a tall beast very very tall indeed uh, that's my only criticism just wish it was slimmer but it would lose the depth in in that glass which is just phenomenal maybe because it's quartz it could be a little bit thinner here uh, but you know it's it's really the only negative I think I think it's an amazing original design uh, I just love its vintage appeal I love its styling they've got the colors especially in the black one uh, some of you might prefer the green some there's there's a blue one as well there's a whole different bunch of co uh, color coordinations but this to me just just looks a million dollars it really does it is absolute pure class it's fun it's lively it's something different maybe a wild card watch for your collection fantastic of course uh, I didn't include the signed buckle but you've got a little signed buckle the strap is really really nice I'm quite surprised at straps it's a, it's a nice supple very well stitched uh, incredibly high quality I wasn't expecting you know usually straps with that come with a watch are, are kind of you know let's be honest a little bit shoddy they they cut corners there but i don't think any corners have been cut i think for what the price you're getting it's an outstanding piece uh, but again you know my only criticism i just wish it was a little bit smaller it is quartz version so you are getting a little bit less weight i think this one would just is just too hefty for me the gloves are, i think are an additional uh, 90 dollars or something absolutely beautifully handmade uh, extremely high quality racing gloves and I think to be honest it completes the whole the whole package it's very well thought out also you'd have a lot of fun dressing this up with different NATO straps anyway guys I'm gonna wrap it up there let's take it back to the studio I'm gonna have to get one of these as well so oh, it never ends it never ends but uh, yeah my pick of the bunch certainly is the little um, the little quartz one now Something I neglected to mention, now if we can just get the light on there. Do you see on the dial it's slightly lighter towards the middle? There is a kind of very nice effect going on there. It's not, there we go, there we go. Do you see that the center of the dial is slightly lighter? Just love the attention to detail, very fun. I think I'm going to buy one of the quartz ones, the finished ones. I do want the signed crown, I do want all the little you know upgrades I think with the screw down uh, rotating bezel it being quartz you know I don't have to worry about winding it and all the rest of it so I think it would be a really cool add a bit of flair a bit of character extra character to my collection uh, so Kyle put please put me down for one of these so put me on the waiting list uh, put my name down for quartz one just like this I'll have it on exactly the same strap so yeah Kyle Capo of Oro, absolute pure class, um, and I'm very, very proud to have you as a patron, as a supporter of the show, and to know that you're making really good watches as well. Just, just, I mean, what more could I ask for? It's just fantastic. Please don't forget to put your queries, questions, comments, opinions, all the rest of it down in the comments below. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Uh, the next episode be, will be on Wednesday. I've got a very special episode uh, with a free gift for all my viewers and supporters of the show. It's going to be the two-year anniversary of the channel. I'm very, very excited. And what more? What a what a way to start the week off with a with a watch from one of our supporters. And I'm so relieved it's a good watch, you know, because um, had it not been, I would have hated to review it. But oh well. Anyway, Wednesday, very, very important day for the channel. Don't forget to tune in. I will have a special gift for all you guys uh, to say thank you for your loyal support. It's been an amazing two years, uh, a journey I never expected to, to, to take. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave, more, I'll leave uh, more of the thank yous and the, the babbling and the, 
the, you know, I'll leave all of that for, for Wednesday. But of course, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, found it useful. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much for watching. And of course, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.